All right, so we've cracked open the 1620. This is your ROV case, or your submersible case. Uh, first thing you're gonna see is uh, probably your sunshade. Uh, this is gonna go on top of your ICB or your control panel. It's gonna reduce glare uh, in the event that you're piloting in, in a lot of sunlight. And we'll show, you, we'll show you how to install that in just a bit. Uh, so the first thing that stands out at you is, is definitely the sub or the ROV. You can see it's nice custom cut foam here. Um, this is, reduces any jiggling around during transport, uh, makes everything nice and tight and secure inside. Uh, so you're not getting dinged or bend or anything bent or anything like that. Uh, we have a couple cuts over here for our hand controllers. The first one is the, uh, the industrial hand controller. Now, depending on which configuration you bought, uh, you might see one or the other or both. Um, this is your industrial hand controller. And we also have a wireless USB hand controller here. It's a matter of personal preference, which controller you like. Some people like the game style a bit better, and some people like the, uh, the industrial hand controller that sits on the table. Uh, in the back here, you're gonna find uh, the basic toolkit that comes with the ROV. Uh, inside here, you're going to have everything you need to perform field maintenance on the fly. Uh, quick, simple maintenance for the sub. You're going to see a couple of spare propellers in here, uh, some speed lube for your O-rings, as well as an O-ring replacement kit, uh, an extra cartridge seal. We'll talk about cartridge seals in a little bit. Some wrenches and a 10-in-1 tool uh, with a nut driver and some Phillips and flat heads on it uh, so you can get into all the screws. Uh, and remove those if you need to. So, basic toolkit in the back. On this side, you're going to see an 800 watt inverter. Uh, we use this when we're out on a vessel that doesn't have a generator. Uh, we can use it off of a car battery. You get a 12 volt marine battery. Um, there's clamps that come with it. You simply connect to the positive and negative of your battery and plug it in just like you would into a, a socket on the wall. So 800 watts peak inverter is going to give you enough, uh, enough juice to power your sub. And down here you're going to also see a bag full of uh, ballast weights. Uh, we use these to get the proper buoyancy in the water of the ROV. And we're going to show you how to ballast the sub in a little bit too. So depending on you know, what you got with your configuration, this is, these are the, the items that you'll, that you'll see uh, in your submersible kit. 